Sparrow goes on an enchanted journey through her own libido in Alice, the new film by Woody Allen. We'll review it when we come back. I've never felt like juggling. You don't have to. Pray. This is not an updated version of Alice in Wonderland. It's an original but equally whimsical satire about modern life and the very, very, very rich in New York City. Mia Farrow stars as a wealthy wife who's growing dissatisfied with her life and thinks she may want to have an affair with a man she hardly knows. Complaining of back pain, she goes to see an acupuncturist in Chinatown, but the wise old Dr. Yang knows the problem isn't in her back, but in her heart. The uh, best way to get to know a strange man is to observe. Yeah, he... Uh, hmm. Bitter. W what will this do? Enable Mrs. Tate to observe without being observed. What is it? What is this? Where am I going? Joe Mantegna plays the man she has a crush on, but after 16 years of faithful marriage, the idea of having an affair with another man terrifies her. Relax. Relax. It's not even dark. God, I prefer it when it's dark. Then you can't see anything. I am going to be going to diet. Alice explores some familiar Woody Allen territory. On the one hand, we get the troubled modern woman seeking some kind of meaning in her life. And on the other hand, there's a sort of mystical or magical thread running through the movie as Dr. Yang's secret herbal potions make her free to ask basic questions about the meaning of her life and all of her relationships. The movie takes a very detailed and satirical view of the rich and empty lives of its wealthy New Yorkers, and yet it also has an irreverent side, a kind of tongue-in-cheek attitude toward Alice's effort to redeem herself. The ideas and ambitions here are more limited than they were in Alan's previous movie, The Wonderful Crimes and Misdemeanors, but it's a smart, funny movie, and I liked it. I liked the setup of it. I was uh, all set for uh, to really <clears throat> get involved with Alice and this very real issue that she's, which is her life and <clears throat> what she's going to do with the men in her life. Uh, you know how people are always um, uh, arguing back and forth with Woody Allen's career? I, I wish he'd be, when he makes a serious picture, I wish he'd be, you know, more funny. Uh, this time, I wanted him to be more serious. I, I thought that uh, Alice's situation is a common one, an important one, and uh, when, when it got light with uh, Dr. Yang, m maybe once, but repeatedly, that's when uh, I, my back went up and I thought this isn't being taken seriously enough. I think he's doing an interesting thing here with the story, Gene. You know, in all of his movies recently, he's had some kind of wise authority figure, a rabbi, a priest, a philosopher, right. somebody who is really dealing with big questions, uh, a psychiatrist typically. Now, in this movie, what he does, I think, with Dr. Yang is just short-circuit all that. You go to Dr. Yang, he gives you some tea, and immediately you're in touch with how you feel about your sister, how you feel about your mother, how you feel about your husband, with these fantasies. And there are fantasy or magical scenes in the movie, or maybe they're just all in, in her mind, which is probably where they were, that allows her to get probably like 30 years of psychoanalysis in 60 minutes of screen. I think that's what it's about, really, in a way. Okay, coming up next, our